Hey, this is Prak with IRPMD, and today we will sh someone shipped us the uh, balance board. And this is from a different manufacturer. The client, or the customer, told me that um, wrote it for about three to four days, and uh, it just stopped working. And it holds a charge, but there's a few problems. You can see right now. I'm trying to power it on. This is a completely charged one. Um, the power we we're gonna see what the issue is uh, with this kind of issue if you have it and it doesn't power on all of a sudden it stopped working there's a few problems it could be it could be a blown capacitor or it could be uh, a few blown transistors and either way if it's a capacitor you might be able to replace the capacitor by inspecting to see if it's been blown and then just soldering a new one um, However, if it's the transistor, it's going to be kind of hard to diagnose, so you're better off replacing the logic board. And today we're going to find out whether it's capacitor or transistor. As you can see, it does not power on, and I've been charging it for like over two hours now. Uh, got the green light from the charging indicator and said it's full. So we can go ahead and uh, do this repair. What you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I'm going to use my Phillips screwdriver here. Let's go ahead and concentrate on the main logic board side first to see what we need to do. These manufacturer are building initially the same board but it's coming from various places and if you look on Amazon you see some for three or four hundred dollars and those are the one that usually last a few days and it breaks this particular model here is the uh, the more cheaper model uh, what we carry in our store is called the mag board we have a long warranty in ours and we prior to actually shipping them we actually custom config ours to make sure we have none of these issues the power issues and if you notice these things are showing up everywhere NBA uh, players NFL players movie stars all these celebrities are riding it and um, all over the world is selling it and a few people in China are building they they can't fill this uh, there's so many demands they don't have enough supplies so they hiring people off the street and just getting them straight into this assembly line and you and the problem is the build quality decreased on these things so if you're getting one of these uh, affordable you know the three or four hundred dollar one you're getting you're, you're getting what you paid for you know you it might work for a few days uh, I've heard as far as uh, one customer of mine actually had it for like 20 seconds she put the power on it and then it went on and then it just came off and never came back All right so now we got the first cover off we're gonna go ahead and disengage the LED okay and now we're gonna engage disengage the charging port and we're gonna go ahead and disengage the power button alright before you go and mess with the capacitor what we need to do is go ahead and take disable the battery all right even though you disable the battery these capacitor right here they're still fully loaded so I will still be very cautious about messing with this um, just be aware don't try to Get these things to spark on you because they can offset your heartbeat <laughs> they're not safe if you don't you gotta you gotta have a high proficiency to work with this this is a high power electronic uh a electric electric vehicle device right here after i open this i'll, I'll go ahead and explain some more details on what makes this thing run the motor is in the tire 
and which will freely uh, give people a more creative uh, ability because I'm thinking about designing a different vehicle I'm working on that project in the past in the next few months you're going to start seeing this prototype I'm going to be using some components from a balance scooter to create a electric car an electric go-kart and it's going to be something like you've never seen before all right let's go ahead and free the last screw okay all right let's go ahead the first thing we do is disable the battery okay all right we're going to disable the led put the shell out of play okay Let's go look and review this. All right, so visually inspecting the capacitor, all these capacitor here, none of them is blown. So it's giving me bad assumption that the logic board is bad. And here's how you test it. What we're gonna do is go ahead and plug the power back in. And this piece right here, this is the power, the uh, on and off power on a good logic board If I was to bridge the connection between these two switch, you'll hear the beeping sound and the light comes on. As you can see, this does not work. The battery is on. So from this, I know and the way it's built right here. I'm looking at some of these uh, transistors here. You see these? This is missing a screw. Some of these are all uh, are not the same level. And some is not tightened. This one capacitor here that's missing. I mean uh, transistor and the transistor is what controls is it is what sends uh, electric signal to the uh, the motor and um, this thing requires a lot because it's a forward and backward moving uh, balance bike okay so uh, the issue here that is that this thing is completely um, bad so we need to replace the logic board and let's go ahead and do that first thing i have to do is disable the power okay and now let's go ahead and disconnect the uh these are the power to the motor disconnect these things okay now let's disconnect the balance sensor and now let's go ahead and disconnect the motor control all right, so those are disabled now. What we need to go on is on this side, we go, need to go ahead and disconnect the motor control, uh, power to the motor. Okay, and this is the balance sensor. All right, so we have all this exposed. Actually, you can see some of these right here. Looks like the wire has been clipped, but this again has nothing to do with the logic board. This has been. Let me see what's wrong with this one. Why do they have electrical tape? Usually, if they have electrical tape, there's an error or uh, something went wrong. Yep, this one looks like they pretty much um, just taped it back on okay so what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna tape it seal it well these are the light indicator by the way this indicates the on off the middle sensor so because they've been nixed does not mean that they stop functioning it's just the LED just won't display on the charge and the uh, balance indicator. All right, so now that you have all this, what we're gonna do is start taking away, taking these um, screws off these uh, transistors. Okay, just be very careful. 
since this is, is the one that actually offer that sends its apply to the to the motor and this thing has a lot of transistors meaning that is a high power vehicle but this is definitely this definitely has a bad logic board to it Alright, let's go ahead and take these off carefully. When working with anything that has a circuit board you definitely want to don't have anything that uh, can set off a static charge because you can fry the circuitry or the sensitive processor so what I'm wearing is 100% cotton and I de-static myself before working on this don't wear gloves because I really can't feel get the feel of the screws and all the components that I need to know Okay, so now you have all the logic board, all the screws from the transistors off, so you can safely lift the logic board. Okay, just lift it up slowly, like this. All right, now what we need to do is actually pull these wires here from the other side. So we can go ahead and pull this off. Carefully. All right. Okay, so now the logic board is off, and we're going to replace it with our new logic board. These are the logic board that we use in our boards, and we want to test it out real quick. Here's how you test a logic board. All right, this is the blue one. That's a good indicator. This is premium. This is the same stuff they use in IOHawk and all those premium uh, boards, balance board. This is the uh, blue shield one, and this is highly um, premium. And I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. The way I'm gonna do that is what I'm gonna do is power up the board by I'm gonna plug in the connector right here okay I'll power it up plug in the power and again this is the board so what I'm gonna do is actually test it this is the power switch like I told you about as you can see it works so this board works, it's going to turn it off by bridging the power switch. All right, now it's off. Let's go ahead and disable the power supply. All right, even though it's disabled, again, these capacitors are loaded. They have power in them. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put the logic board into place here. All right. So now that we have this all taken care of, all the screws are on the transistors are bolted down to the logic board. I mean the uh, the main body to heatsink. We're we'll gonna go ahead and connect the power. This is the power. We we'll connect green to green. Okay. Make sure they're nice and snug. Yellow to yellow. 
blue to blue. Okay. And go ahead and connect the speed control. And let's go ahead and connect the the pad sensor, uh, the pressure sensor. All these wires here, we're going to run it back to this other side of the board. Run it through this pivot tube here. Alright, put the tube and the power cable there. And we need to clean up these wires. And I'll, we're going to use a tie wrap for that. Not a tie wrap, a Velcro. When you order these boards from my store online, we'll include the Velcro for you to go ahead and tighten these clean up these um, wiring all right so what we have now is we can go ahead and put the this is the power indicator the middle power indicator back into place oops all right line up this way and we're going to go ahead and on this side plug we're going to plug the connectors speed connector right here go ahead and connect the power indicator and let's go ahead and put the motor Connect the power to the motor. Okay, and yellow to yellow, green to green, blue to blue. Verify everything. Let's go ahead and power, plug the battery in to test the board out. See what indicator we have here. Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick test. Quick test here would be like I did earlier the bridge to power. All right, see, it works perfectly. Let's flip this over here. All right, this is indicates that uh, the power control is missing, so let's go ahead and power it down real quick. Power it down. Go ahead and put the speed controller in here. And now let's power it up. Okay. Power it down. Okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is tighten up the cables. I'm going to use my tie wrap. The, I mean the Velcro. What we're going to do is bundle this up into a manageable pack. Keep it nice and snug. All right, what we need to do is just connect this here. We're going to wrap it around this way. Keep that nice and secure, tucked away here. These cables here, we're gonna bundle up together here. All right, let's go ahead and put the plate on for this. 
power plate here. Everything is nice and secure. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Put on the power switch right here. Power switch. Oops. Power switch into place. Now the LED connectors into place. Now this is the charging port. Putting that into place. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and put a lid on it. Make sure everything is nice and flush. Inspect it carefully. Make sure no wire is snagging. Snap. Check both sides. Now go ahead and use the screwdriver. Tighten the clamp shell up. All right. Right, before we tighten it some more, let's go ahead and verify that we have everything working. Power's working. Good. I'm going to then put the charge connector. Charge this up. Alright, good indication. It's powered off. Alright, let's go ahead and tighten all the screws. Okay, with these boards, um, it's extremely important to seal it away from moisture. You need to get that moisture seal on it. And there's a variant amount of screws here that goes into play. And what we want to do is put all the, the middle one, these uses my machine screw this one is plastic to plastic on the side so make sure all the screws represent the same group all right Okay, now we have all this nicely done. We're gonna go ahead and work on this side. Let's clean this up also. I'm gonna use my Velcro cable tightener. We'll clean it up, bring everything down this way. Wrap it. The tighter the group, the more secure your board is. You want to keep these outside the board and do not let the other one to wrap around. So we want to create this bundle right here that's resting on top. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and create through this loop here. Wrap it. Okay, now we've got a nice group here. Go ahead and put the other cover on. Okay. Connect the LEDs in. Okay. And go ahead and fasten the screws back into place. Make sure all the power is snapped. here go ahead and tighten the screws Let's 
seal the clamshell. use a power screw for this one because you might strip it. It's better to use a hand screw. The uh, screws that they use on these things are not the same size. That variant size screw so to use a power screw you might get yourself in a world of trouble. I'm not sure why they use various one. Again, it all depends on the manufacturer. As far as the the logic board on the inside, it's pretty much open source, but everything else is not. All right, so finishing off on the screw here, putting the last final screw in. baby on okay check the blue lights both is working forward back it's working all right I'm gonna go ahead and test this out go on the board there you go Works perfect no issue at all larger board has been replaced and this is plot Frack with iRepairMD, safe repair and safe riding.